This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Nathan Fisher. Nathan, congratulations. Thank you. We have a video from your nominator. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm nominating Mr. Fisher for the Excellence in Education Award. He's a second grade teacher at Thornapple Kellogg Schools. Mr. Fisher has a unique ability to create a fun and engaging way to learn. For reading, rather than just putting down the number of minutes each night, Mr. Fisher's created a fun, engaging way for the students to read. He's put together a checklist where they can tally up different places they've read, different people they've read to, or different types of books they've read. He makes it super exciting to go home and try to read. Mr. Fisher, he learns the students and how their learning styles are, and he'll adapt their lessons so that each student is learning the best they can. He's put together charts for my son when he has problems with the processes so that he can easily get on and move forward without asking for help. Mr. Fisher is a great person to have in the ed educational system. He's making an impression on these kids that can last them throughout their lives. Thank you. Wow. What do you think about that? That's amazing. I just read with her son this morning, you know, um, and that's the first thing I do. I work with him. Uh, he's it, it, right away in the morning, we work on his reading and that's something we're focused on the most and he has grown so much and I'm very proud of him. So that was very touching. What's that like when, when a kid gets it? Uh, we, uh, I, I, we call them aha moments, you know, the moment they get, um, uh, maybe it's a new concept or a skill they they just light up and then that fuels me as well as a teacher. Um, and then we also do like a truck driver cheer in the classroom where we celebrate that. And I go honk honk and the kids go, good job, good buddy. So it just feels good all around. I love that. Why are you a teacher? Um, I am a teacher because I have um, four older brothers and sisters who are teachers and I was often in their classrooms helping out. And so I fell in love with teaching as well. I saw the great impact that teachers have and I, it inspired me. So I, I read this letter that came in from your nominator as well. And it really talks about you going above and beyond the call of what a, a teacher should do or could yeah, do. Yeah. Um, why do you go above and beyond? Why do you do the extra? I do the extra because the kids need it. They, they're they ready for it and they want it. And the more I give, the more they're willing to take it there. And I just keep going and keep going. And they, I just keep following them in, the, in their, uh, their journey of, of, of learning. What's the most satisfying part of being a teacher for you? The most satisfying part is, is just watching them become stronger individuals who are more compassionate, more caring, more um, accepting of others. Um, so just watching them grow as an individual. Now you told me you've been teaching for 16 years, That's right? That's correct, yeah. So when a student that you had 16 years ago comes up to you, what do you hope that they say to you about their experience? Yeah, I'm hoping that they'll like they'll forget maybe the things that I've taught them, you know, but I want them to remember the things, the way that I made them feel. So I want mm -hmm. them to, to know that I'm always there for them. I'm, a, I'm like a piece of them as they're moving forward, you know, someone, a support system, you know, just a piece of them, because I know they'll have t more teachers along the way, but I just want the, them to know I'm there for them. Now, did you have a teacher that inspired you? Oh, yes. My second grade teacher. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Are, are you in touch with her? Yep. She's still, I think she's probably having coffee with my mom right now. <laughs> That's great. Um, so tell me what it's like for you at the end of a hard day, and it's been hard for mm -hmm. the last two years. Yes. How do you handle that stress? And how does it, how do you handle it so the kids don't see that? Uh, I take care of myself, um, take care of my mental health. I work out in the morning. Uh, that's the first thing I do. I wake up before anyone else in the house and I make sure I get my run in. Um, actually, I've been running for five years, almost five years, a 5K every day. And so I haven't skipped a day at Christmas, any, any uh, holiday. I've been doing a 5K. So I'm pretty proud of that. It makes me feel good. And when I do that, I'm ready for the day and I get to school and I'm energized again to do this rewarding job again. Do the kids know you do that? Yes. Oh yeah. What do they think? Uh, he's got grit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I know you run every day, but yes. during the pandemic, you did something special with that. Tell me about that. Yep. So um, to get me out of the house and to get the kids out of the house, but at a safe distance, I would arrange it so I would run past their house and they would pop their heads out and say hello. 
and we would just have you know a quick conversation and then I'd carry on with my run. I know that meant something to the kids, but yep. for you, what yeah. was that like? Oh, I, I mean, it was like running a marathon, you know, I just felt so energized and I felt good. That's yeah, awesome. For sure. Well, congratulations Thank you. On, on being a teacher of the week. Thanks. And uh, this is congratulations on that. That's a big accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So, Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Nathan receives a $1,500 check from the Michigan Lottery and his class at Lee Elementary receives a $500 grant. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $26 billion to public education since 1972.